Okay, folks. This time we take a look at Reason Drum Kits. First of all, please go to this settings menu over here and click it. Now we see all the key bindings to our keyboard and how it is set up. We have the option to randomize our velocity and even randomize the pitch. So if I press So if I press a tom for instance, the pitch will be varied slightly. We also got the option for another key map. We got an Alasis key map. So if you got an Alasis drum kit, you could set up this and so you get the correct Alasis key binding. So you could play along with your Alasis kit. Uh, the same goes for the Roland kit. So if you got a Roland drum machine or drum kit you could use this preset or if you are an MPC user or machine user like me uh, you could set up this 16 pads mode and your drums will be distributed on the 16 pads but what else do we got here we close the drum settings so we could trigger our drums via mouse or via keyboard We get a simple mixer over here, which gives us access to kick, snare, tom, hi-hats, overheads and room mic levels. We also got a reverb send for these four sliders here, so for kick, snare, tom and hi-hat. And a reverb return level, so we could make the whole room louder or quieter. If we go to Master FX, there is the reverb we just talked about so we could choose from these options and we also got a compressor that's that handles everything we play in here let's talk about our kick we got different models to choose from we even get an info to this selected kick drum how how it was recorded how the room was how processing went and so on we get control over pitch and decay of our kick drum as well as volume and pen and we get this leakage option here which sends our kick to the overheads to the room mics or even to the snare mic so we get intentional mic bleed. Um, we get an EQ, a transient designer and a distortion unit with two options. At the snare, we, we get some more snares in here. At the snare, we could pitch, we could adjust the decay. We have a bottom and a top mic, so we could easily So we could easily decide how our drums sound. We also get the pen and the leakage, as well as the EQ, the transi uh, transient designer and the distortion unit. For the toms, we also get several options. Pitch and decay as usual. We get a volume knob for each tom, for the mid, the high and the low, as well as a panning for each tom and the leakage for the whole toms kit followed by a simple EQ, a transient designer and a distortion unit. You see the equalizer, the transient designer and the distortion unit are always the same, so I won't uh, talk about that again. For the hi-hats, we get a few models, pitch, decay, volume, pen and the leakage, as well as the other options. The right has also some options, pitch, decay, volume and pen. But this time the pen is only at our overhead microphone and the leakage goes only to the room. And we got the same three effect devices here. The Crash has the same options as the right. The Crash 2 has also the same option as the right. And we also get different models. Um, we also get a tambourine.
We also get a tambourine with uh, a reverb scent and the same three effects. And we get a snap slash clap. We also get overhead options so we could decrease or increase the stereo width of this. We got a compressor on that, an EQ and a distortion unit. The room has basically the same features. We could decide how wide our sound should be. We got to compress it, we EQ it, we distort it. And we could close our settings with this X on the left side. If you go to the back we have options to trigger the drums via CV. So we could hook up anything we want and get uh, output of this. For instance we could use a re-drum and trigger our kick on the Reason Drum Kits with this if we need a sequencer. We also get different outs so we could split our drums like we usually do with outputs for overheads and room which is very handy and we also get some MIDI files. Problem with this is, this were, was introduced before Reason 13, so if we go to the home folder of Reason Drum Kits, we can't find the MIDI files. They should be here, but they aren't. If you need the MIDI files, you just open the browser normally up in the left corner over here, go to Reason Libraries and select MIDI files. Then you open Rack Extensions and there are the MIDI files you wanted. So we could easily drag one in. This was a 6.8 kit, but uh, I think you, you get the idea. You could easily drop something in here, even use a fill. And now we got ourselves some drums. And as you see, there are plenty of different styles to choose from. So if you aren't a drummer at all, like me, <laughs> you totally could use all those presets to get something going. It's a lot. Okay, I think that's everything on this device. I hope I didn't overlook something. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and a comment. Please watch some of the other videos if you liked this video and maybe subscribe to my channel. Okay, until next time, bye.